Okay, so welcome to all of you. Today we will discuss, that means we will revise the chapter third, that is the lines in the three dimension. Okay, so a straight line in space, that means in three dimension, is represented by two equations of first degree. So first degree means what? This is what a one x plus b one y plus c one z plus d one is equal to zero. A two x plus b two y plus c two z plus d two is equal to zero. These are the first two, uh, first, uh, uh, first degree equation in x y z. These these two equations are first degree equation in x y. They are the planes. Okay. So that means what? Two planes taken together will be the straight line. Okay. Uh, that means intersection of two planes is the line. We know that. So intersection of two planes is the line. Okay. So it is called a symmetrical form. That means if the line, this is the equations of a line. Then this is called an unsymmetrical form of the equations of a line. Okay. So for line, there are two equations. Therefore, we are writing equations of a line. Equations of a line. Okay. So the equations of a line passing through one point. This is a point. Okay. And having a DCS element. Then this is what x minus x one upon n, y minus y one upon n, z minus z one upon n. So element are the DCS and x one y one z one in the point. So this is called a symmetrical form of the equation of the line. Okay. So if uh, uh, these are what element are the direction cosines. If you take the direction ratio to the matter, if you take the direction ratio. So if you, you can replace this a b c. Okay. So but what if a c b are if a c r a c b are the DRS of the line, then the equation will be what? X minus X one upon a, Y minus Y one upon C. Okay, Z minus Z one upon uh, B will be there. Okay, if A C B R. Okay, so just check this uh, clearly. What A C B? What are the D R S of the line? Okay, so if D R S or not, so this this order is very important here. Okay, this is for X, this is for Y, this is for Z. Okay, so you should note this. <coughs> okay. Uh, so it is, it is also called a symmetrical form. Equation of line passing through two points. This is what equation of line passing through two points. So this is what x minus x one upon x two minus x one, y minus one upon y two minus y one. Or you may write also this is what x minus x two upon x one minus x two, y minus y two upon uh, y one minus y two, z minus z two upon z one minus z two. Okay. So you may write here what x1 minus x2, y1 minus y2, z1 minus z2 also. But you should do for all. Okay. So for the denominator, either subtract p from q or q from p. Okay. You can use any point here. Here what you can do this is what these also denominators are allowed for here. Okay. So if you write here x2, doesn't matter if you write here x2. If you write here x2, doesn't matter for this one. You can write x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. But order will be same for every background. Okay. For here x2 minus x1, then you are writing here y1 minus y2. This is not allowed. Everywhere you have to you know, make the same order. Okay. So this is what two point form. Next, the angle between you know that the angle between two line and the angle between the uh, plane, uh, angle between two plane, angle between two plane is nothing but the angle between two lines because what? Angle between two lines is nothing but the uh, angle between uh, two plane is nothing but the angle between their normal. That means the normals are the lines. Okay. So this is the cos theta. But here what you have the sine theta. Remember this. Formula is same now here. What? So these are the DRS of the DRS of the line. A1, B1, C1 are the DRS of the line, and this ABC are the DRS of the normal. You are finding the uh, angle between the line, angle between two lines. But what here? Yes, angle between line and plane is what? Sine theta. Remember that this is a sine theta, not a cos theta. Okay. So if two are same, that means if there are two lines or there are two planes, then angle between them is cos theta. But here one line and one plane is there, and angle between line and plane is nothing but sine theta. So remember this. So the line and plane are parallel. See, suppose this is what this. Okay. So line is parallel to the plane like this. Means this is the DRS of the uh, this is what normal to the plane. Okay, so line is parallel to the plane. That means normal is perpendicular to the line. Normal to the plane is perpendicular to the line. That means what a one a two. So DRS of the normal are what a b c and DRS of the lines are a one b one c one. These two lines are perpendicular. That means a one uh, a a one plus b b one plus c one uh, c c one is equal to zero. Okay. And the line is parallel to the plane means what? The normal is perpendicular to the line. That means line is perpendicular to the normal of the plane. Okay. 
<coughs> now if you have this equation in a symmetrical form suppose this is the equation of a line okay so you, you can write this is equal to r because all ratio is r now okay so now if you write this is r then your x is what then x is equal to a r plus x1 okay y is equal to what b r plus y1 z is equal to what uh, c, uh, c r plus z1 that means what this is what a r plus x1 b r plus y1 uh, c r plus z1 right this these are nothing but the coordinates of any point that means the coordinates of the point are on the line are in this form okay so if you get a part, if you want a particular point just find the value of r you will get a particular point on the line if you got the value of r if you find a particular value of r you will get a particular point on the line okay so so this is a theoretical part actually we will do the problem on it Okay, we will do the problems only. Okay. Uh, find the equation of line passing through 2 minus 3 5 and DRS and DRS are 1 minus 2 2. Okay. So we want to find equation of line passing through. They are the DRS. Just that what? X minus 2 upon 1. Y plus 3 upon minus 2. Z minus 5 upon 2. Okay. So this is very simple. You got the equations of a line. Okay, next. Find the value of k. So x minus 1 upon minus 3. Y minus 2 upon twice k. Uh, Z minus 3 upon 2. And second line is x minus 1 upon 3k. Y minus 5 upon 1. Z minus 2 upon minus 5. Okay. You want to find the value of k so that these lines are perpendicular. Okay, so you know that these denominators are nothing but the direction ratios of the line. Okay, so that is what we have minus 3, 3k. Okay, plus twice k into 1, plus 2 into minus 5. This is 0. Right, the dot product of, uh, in our language, this is the dot product of the direction cosine or direction ratio. So this is what 9k, 9k plus 2k is what 11k. Right, this is minus 10, so this is 10. Okay. So your k is what? 10 by L1. Your k is 10 by Oh, this is minus 9k. This is minus 3, okay? So this is minus 9k. So minus 9k, this is what? Minus 7k then. Minus 7k. So this is what? 10 by minus 10 by 7. Minus 10 by 7 is the correct value, okay? Next. So here what? Actually we, we have uh, we are discussing how to attempt a uh, MCQ for this uh, line. Okay. So find the question is what? Find the coordinates coordinates of the point of intersection intersection of the line of the line x plus 1 upon 1 y plus 3 upon 3 uh, z minus 2 upon minus 2 and the plane and the plane 3x plus 4y plus 5z is equal to 5 okay so you have to you have the options you have the options suppose this is minus 1 3 minus 2 you have to choose the correct option you don't have to solve the problem you don't have to solve the problem okay you don't have to solve the full problem okay what is this here? You want point of intersection of this point. That means what? A point which is common to both. That means what here? We have what? Choose this of first. Uh, well, check whether this point is or not. Okay. To check whether this satisfies the plane. Okay. So what is this is what? Suppose this is what? Minus 3 plus 12 minus 10. Okay. So this is minus 13 plus 12 is not 5. So these do not satisfy the plane. Okay. So this is not your option. So now this is okay. So this is what? 3 minus 12 plus 10. 3 minus 10 minus 12 plus 10 is equal to 5.
So this is also not satisfied. Okay. So this will not be your option there. Okay. So one three minus two. Okay. We'll check for one three minus two. Okay. So whether it satisfies, this is not your option then. Okay. Okay. Whether this satisfies, this is three plus twelve. Three plus twelve minus ten. Minus ten. This is also not a point, okay? Three x plus four y plus five y is equal to five. This is also not a point, okay? Okay. This is also not a point, okay? Now this your other your option will be your other option, okay? Now suppose this point satisfy. If if there are two points satisfy this equation, if there are two points satisfy this equation, so then what? Your option is this or this. That means what? One of the answer you will be there. Okay. What you have to do then? You have to put x is equal to here. Each ratio should be the same. Each ratio should be the same. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, find find the equation of equations of a line passing through two minus three five and parallel to the line parallel to the line x is equal to minus twice y is equal to twice z. You can write this is what x upon one y upon minus one half uh, z upon one half, right? You can write this equation, okay? So that means line is parallel to this. That means these are these are the diagonals of the line. Okay. So your equation of line is what? X minus two upon one, y plus three upon minus one half, z minus five upon one half. Okay. You may write this is what? X minus two upon one, two into y plus three upon minus one, uh, two into z minus five upon uh, one upon one. Okay. So you can write like this. Okay, so here find the image. Find the image of the point P one three four in the plane in the plane twice x minus y plus z plus three is equal to zero. So options are the options are. Minus three five minus two minus three five minus two minus three five two and so on. If there are support, how to check the options are there? What is the image means? What suppose this is a plane. Now this is what P. This is your P. Is what one three four. So you want to find the image. So Q will be here then. Okay. What are the Q that you want? Okay. Now this is what this is the midpoint. If this is the midpoint, okay. So this is M, okay. So if this is the image under the plane. The Q will be the image of P under M. So this M is the midpoint. So that means what here? How to choose this? This point is what one, three, four. So how to choose this? If if this is your power image, then the midpoint satisfy the equation of the plane. Midpoint satisfy the equation of the plane. What is that? A midpoint is what? So you have to take addition. And do this. What here? Minus two. So this is minus one. So eight means four. This is what? Uh, this two means one. Okay. Whether this satisfies the equation of the plane, that will change. Okay. Minus two, minus four, plus one, plus three. Is it equal to zero? No. This is not equal to zero. So this is not. Okay. For this one is what? This is what? One, three, four. This is your point. Okay. Uh, this is the midpoint. Okay. We will find the midpoint. Okay. So midpoint is what? 
This is sum is what? Minus 2 upon 2. So this is minus 1. 8 means this is 4. 6 means this is 3. Okay. Minus 1, 4, 3 is the midpoint. Whether it satisfies the equation of the plane, this is minus 2, minus 4, plus 3, plus 3. So is it equal to 0? Yes. The midpoint, midpoint of midpoint satisfies the equation of the plane. So this will be your correct option. Okay. No need to solve your or hold the problem. Just check which option will be the correct option. Okay. So this is the image that means what? The midpoint satisfies the equation of plane. So choose the point such way that the midpoint of this and this satisfy the equation of the plane. So you within a minute you can do this one. Okay. So how to choose the correct option without solving the problem? Okay. So it is very difficult. Uh, if you it is very difficult uh, to find a particular point by your manual method. Okay. You, your, with the usual method, it is very difficult now. Okay. Okay. So find the equation of the line joining the this minus three one. So three minus four five. You have to find. You have to find equations of line passing through this point. Is what? So what I will do this is what x minus two upon three minus two. Y minus y, I will use this point. Okay. Y plus three upon my uh, minus four plus three. Okay, then this is what z minus 1 upon pi minus 1. Okay, so this is what just check your option now. So, first, what we have to do look at the option which point they use this or this. Okay, so if they use this, don't, don't worry about that one. Your denominators are look at the denominator. So, what is this? Is x minus 2 upon 1. Okay, y plus 3 upon minus 1, z minus 1 upon 4. Okay, z minus 1 upon. So the points are 2 minus 3, 1, 3, minus 4. This is minus 5, okay? So this is minus 5. Then this will be what? Minus 6. Then this is minus 6, okay? So the answer may be like this, what? X minus 2 upon minus 1, Y plus 3 upon 1, Z minus 1 upon 6, okay? This then this. Both the answers are correct. No matter this point is there. You can replace here this 3 plus 4 plus 5. Doesn't matter for this one. Denominators are either 1 minus 1, 6 or minus 1, 1, 6. Okay. One of these. Okay. Here no, no problem for this point is what the first point or the second point. Doesn't matter. Okay. So that means what if you use this point. So this is what x minus 3 upon minus 1. Y plus 4 upon uh, 1. Uh, Z plus 5 upon uh, 6. Or maybe this is 1 minus 1 minus 6. Doesn't matter. Okay. Both are the equations of a line. Same line now. Okay. So this is the equation of line passing through two points. So you can use any one point from this one. We can use it. Either you can use the first point or you can use the second point. And so, so just see the option. Which one is the, your options here? Okay. The signs are very important here. The denominators. The signs of the denominator. Option may be like this is what minus one minus one six. Okay. Or one minus one minus one. Huh? Well, minus 1, 1, minus 6, something like this, okay? So, take the care of that, okay? Uh, find the point. So, this is what? 2 minus 3, 1. 3 minus 4, 5. Uh, so five this line you are in there, okay? Find, okay. So, we will write the question. Find the point where the line, where the line joining the points Change in the points 2 minus 3, 1, uh, 3 minus 4, minus 5. Cut the plane. Cut the plane. Twice x plus y plus z is equal to 7. Is equal to 7. Okay. Suppose the answer is 1, 2, 7. 1 minus 2, 7. And so on. I will tell you how to choose the correct option. So what here? These are the two points. This is your PQ, and somewhere this is your plane. You want to find the point. This line curves to the plane. This point you have to find. Okay. That means what? That means what? This point lie on the line and lie on the plane. So which first one what? Which point satisfy the equation of the plane? Okay. That we will see first. So this is what here. So see, all are positive. All are positive. It will not 7 then. Because what there is 2 here, 2 is here. It will not 7. Because all are positive and all are positive. So this is not. Okay. Just by observation you change it. Okay. What about this one? This is what? 
टू माइनस टू प्लस सेवन इज इट सेवन यस दिस इज सेवन सो दैट मीन दिस पॉइंट सैटिस्फाइड ओके बट इफ यू देर इज अनदर पॉइंट वी सैटिस्फाइड दिस इक्वेशन देन वॉट आई टू डू ओके सो वॉट यूर सो सो दिस इज युअर पॉइंट ओके सो दिस पॉइंट सैटिस्फाइड दिस वन देर इज अनदर पॉइंट वी सैटिस्फाइड इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन देन वॉट आई टू डू ओके देर मे बी दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट we satisfy the equation of the plane so there may be two points we satisfy the equation of the plane that means the your option is one of these okay one of the option will be there okay uh, you check for all the points okay if there are two such point then what so two for the first one now here so we find the dr this is your what suppose this is your p this is your q and this is your r okay we will find dr is of the pr and we will find the dr is of qr then okay so dr is of the pr just uh, to do the subtraction this is what 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, minus 3 plus 2. Uh, my, you are subtracting this is R from P, okay? So 7 minus 1, okay? And Q R what? I will subtract Q from R, okay? So 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1, minus 4 plus 2, then minus 5 minus 7, okay? What are this? This is 1, my minus 1 and 6. What are this? This is 2. This is minus 2. And this is minus twelve. Now, if you see that, if you multiply by two here, two multiply by two here, multiply by okay, this is what? This is minus one. Okay, something is wrong here, I think. Okay, minus two, minus five, minus seven is minus twelve. P R okay so two minus one okay so minus three plus two okay this is also correct then this is one minus seven okay this is one minus seven okay so this is minus six okay so if you multiply by two here if you multiply by two here you get the same D R S so that means what here this P Q R R uh, on the same line they are the collinear that means okay so this will be your correct option then. It will not be a correct option there. Okay, give it. So final this, and you are uh, final this option. Okay. Okay, so find the angle between this x minus one upon two, y minus two upon one, z minus three upon minus two, and the plane x plus twice y plus z is equal to three. Plus it. Okay. So the answer is two minus two and one to one. Okay. One to one. These are the answers. So what is this? This is three. Uh, this is two plus two minus two upon the square of this. So what is this? Four plus. Uh, this is what nine. And this is what the uh, four. So this is six. Okay, this is sine inverse of sine inverse of. So sine inverse of two upon three root six. Okay. So this you may write this is one by root six also. Sine inverse of uh, root two. So this is root three. Six means what? Uh, root three into root two. So this is what root two into root two. Okay, two means okay. So root two upon something like. This. This may be the answer. Okay, may be the answer. Okay? Root two upon three root three may be the answer. Okay, root two upon three root three. This may be the answer. Okay, this also answer two upon uh, root three into root six. This is also the answer. Okay. Okay, so the line x minus x one upon a one is equal to y minus y one upon b one, z minus z one upon c one lies in the plane. Lies in the plane. The line. Okay, so the line x minus x one upon this 
lies in the plane <coughs> ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 if and only if the conditions are very important if and only if a a1 plus b b1 plus c c1 is equal to 0 and and ax1 ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d is equal to 0 that means what one point on the line lies on the plane so this x1 y1 z1 is the point on the line it is lies on the plane one point on the one point of the line is lying on this okay and the line lies in the plane means the line is parallel to the plane means the line is parallel to the plane and line is parallel to the plane means what a a1 b b1 so that means what here so we can also write what the line the line lies in the plane in the plane if one in the plane if the normal the normal to the plane is perpendicular i will write here perpendicular okay perpendicular to the line okay the normal to the plane is perpendicular that means line is perpendicular to the normal to the plane because of this condition and second this condition what one point on the line one point on the line uh, of the line of the line lies on the line on the plane lies on the plane. one point of the line lies on the plane then we are saying that the line lies in the plane okay so remember these conditions this is very important condition Okay, so general equation of the plane of the plane containing the line containing the line x minus x1 upon a plus y minus y1 upon is equal to y minus y1 upon b1 is equal to z minus z1 upon c1 z minus z1 upon c1 is the equation of the plane this is a1 b1 c1 is what a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equal to 0 this is the form of the equation of the plane how this a b c work this a b c what a a1 plus b b1 plus c c1 is equal to 0 where where okay so in, in general a into x minus x1 b into not a1 into not a1 into okay these are not a1 a1 b1 c1 no that these are other arbitrary constants other than the uh, drs of the line okay so this the this line is containing this plane okay the equation of the plane containing the line is of the form this is the form of the uh, plane this is the form of the plane where this abc are nothing but now these are abc are the direction ratio of the normal to the plane and direction ratio of the normal to the plane is perpendicular to this line and therefore we get a a1 this is a1 okay a a1 plus b b1 plus c c1 is equal to 0 okay so remember this note that this a b c are not your a1 b1 c1 okay so look at the correct option there may be a1 b1 c1 okay so it will not the correct option there okay Uh, the equation of the equation equation of the plane of the plane through the point through the point this is equation of the plane okay through the point x1 y1 z1 x1 y1 z1 and through the line and through the line x minus a upon n y minus b upon m z minus c upon n each each okay so see the denominator your first row is the numerator of the line 
numerator of the line and then second one denominator of the line and then your point x1 y1 z1 this is equal to 0 uh, x1 minus a this is x1 minus a y1 minus b and z1 minus c okay remember this equation of a plane through the point and through the line point and the line this is equation this is the numerator of the line this is denominator of the line and then just replace here uh, in the first row replace here x y z and x1 y1 z1 only okay so this may be interchange doesn't matter if you interchange two rows and two columns the value of determinant change by sign only but because of zero here then you may change the uh, rows okay so it will be also allowed to you in the option may be like this x1 minus a y1 minus b z1 minus c and l m n is here okay so remember this okay now suppose the problem is asked on this huh? problem is asked so whether you have to solve this determinant or not okay so suppose this point is find equation to the plane to the plane through the point through the point 0 6 0 and through the line through the line x plus 2 upon 2 y plus 3 upon 3 z minus 4 upon minus 2 okay suppose this and options are given to you okay so 3x plus twice y plus 6z minus 12 is equal to 0 okay so 3x minus twice y uh, plus twice y plus twice y plus 6z minus 12 is equal to 0 and some other options is given okay what do you want the equation of them passing through both are lines on this both are lines on this okay so how we check this one okay so first we'll do this okay first check whether this 0 6 0 which plane satisfy this okay so that will be your uh, choice of the uh, that will be your option okay possible option first find a possible option okay so this is what uh, this is what minus 12 this is minus 12 minus 12 so this will not zero. that means 0 6 0 do not satisfy this will not your option okay well, Okay, we hear what? My, uh, minus 12, uh, this is 12 minus 12. So, this is because what here? Well, x is 0, z is equal to 0. Don't look at the x and z. This is 0. So, this is not if you put this is 12 minus 12. This is 0. This is your possible option. There may be other option. Your, there may be uh, like this. What? 3x plus twice y minus 6z uh, minus 12 is equal to 0. This is also option. See, uh, we satisfy this. We satisfy 0, 6. This is 12 minus 12. Okay, so this is a possible option. This is possible. And check for this one. This is not possible answer then. Okay. Suppose the other is not, not possible. Other one is not, not possible. Suppose that. Okay. So that means what here? One of the options will be the correct. Okay. So now what? Uh, we'll check this. This is, the, we have to choose these all these. Okay. These all these. Now, what is this? Equation of a plane passing through the, that means equation. This is the word. You want the equation of a plane containing this line. That means the line is normal. Line is normal to the plane. Huh? The line is normal to the plane. Just we will see the DRS. This is what two, three, minus two. Okay. And the DRS of the plane around three, two, six. Then, okay. We we'll know this what six. Then this is six, and this is minus one. See the sum is zero. That means what this line is for forward this for about this one. If for about this one is what. So this is what uh, three, two, minus six. Okay. And for this one, what? 2, 3, minus 2. So, see here, all are positive now here. So, the sum is not 0 now here. The sum is That means this line is not normal to the plane. Okay, this line is not normal to the, to the plane. Okay, that means this is not your option. This will be your correct option. This will be your correct option. Okay, because this line is normal to the plane. That means what? 2 into, just replace this. Okay, only this value is 0. Don't take, consider this. For a put x is equal to 2, put y, y is equal to 3, and then, okay. This expression is 0, forget about the minus 12. Forget about the minus 12. This, okay, only consider the x, the, uh, only consider the terms containing x, y, you know, this. don't uh, consider the constant as a 0 now. Okay, now this is what, if this expression is 0, that means this line, this is the line is parallel to this line, so this will be your correct option, okay. So don't solve this problem manually, okay. So, 
So you will not get the answer now here. Okay, you have to solve this determinant then, and it is very difficult. Right? So in this way you can choose your option. Okay. So if you if your concepts are clear, then easily you can solve this problem. Okay. Okay. Find the equation of the plane. Find the equation of the plane of the plane through the line through the line. I will not write uh, this word. X plus one upon two is equal to y plus two upon three. Z plus 3 upon 4 and perpendicular perpendicular to the plane to the plane x minus twice y plus 3z minus 4 is equal to 0 minus 4 is equal to it is equation ok so suppose the option is 17x minus 2y plus 7z minus 8 is equal to 0. 17x minus twice y minus 7z minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay. Suppose this. What is here? Find the equation of the plane through the line. Okay. So which and perpendicular plane. Okay. So that means what? This this line is perpendicular to this one, and the line is parallel to this one, and the plane is perfect to this one. You have to choose the correct option now here. Okay, so we do this. Whether we we'll check this line is parallel to this plane. Okay, we will replace. We will forget this minus eight. We will forget this minus eight. We will do what here? So fourteen minus six plus twenty-eight. Is it equal to zero? No, this is not equal to zero. That means this line is not parallel to this one. So this plane you are the line containing the plane. Means the line is parallel to the plane. Okay. So this does this line is not parallel to the plane. So this is not your option. Okay. What about this one then? Uh, this is what uh, two I put here. This is what 34. Oh, this is 34 actually. Okay. So 34. Okay. 34 minus 6. Okay. So minus 28. Minus 28. Okay. Forget about this minus 8. Okay. Okay, so is it equal to 0? Yes, this is equal to 0. But there may be other options that which will satisfy this. Okay, so we'll check for the second plane also. So what here? We'll take this. this one. We'll do this. 17. Then minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4. Uh, then this is minus 7 into minus 3. So minus 21. Is it equal to 0? Yes. So that means these two planes are perpendicular and the line is also parallel. Line is also parallel and plane is also perpendicular. So this will be your correct option. Okay. So you have to judge your answer only from the answer, from the options, okay. So no need to solve the problem by your usual method, okay. So easily you can check your answer from the option, okay. Because options are provided to you, which also, so you have to understand the concept. The plane containing the line means the line is parallel to the plane, okay. The plane is perpendicular, you want the plane perpendicular to this one. So what the condition should satisfy a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 is equal to zero, okay. That condition should satisfy. Only you have to judge your answer with the help of such type of the concept. Okay. Okay. So this is very important. Two lines, two lines are said to be said to be coplanar. Coplanar. If they lie, if they lie on the same plane, on the same plane. Okay, this is very important. Two lines are said to be coplanar if they contain in the same plane. Okay, so if they lie on the same plane. Okay, uh, this is very important condition is that condition for condition for two lines, two lines. X minus X1 upon A1, Y minus Y1 upon B1, Z minus Z1 upon C1, X minus X2 upon A2, Y minus Y2 upon B2, Z minus Z2 upon C2, C2, to be coplanar, to be coplanar, to be coplanar is X2 minus X1, Y2 minus Y1, Z2 minus Z1 upon the denominators A1, 
b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 this determinant is equal to 0 this determinant is equal to 0 okay so this determinant is 0 then the uh, the planes are uh, the lines are coplanar okay important this is what if this is x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 z1 minus z2 doesn't matter okay but direction is same now here direction is same now here so what x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 or you may write x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 z1 minus z2 okay so it is also the option may be like this okay uh, x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 z1 minus z2 so you have to choose the correct option like this and the equation of the plane contained in the line just you have to replace here x this is your y and this is your only z okay so this is a plane containing both the lines this is a plane containing both the lines now now see here if you want to find the equation of plane containing both the lines you have to solve the determinant name and it is a very complicated to solve the determinant okay so how to choose the your correct option there okay Suppose x plus 3 upon 2, y plus 5 upon 3, z minus 7 upon minus 3, x plus 1 upon my, uh, 4, this is 4, y plus 1 upon 5, and z plus 1, z plus 1 upon minus 1. Okay, so you want to find the equation of the plane, this, okay. So suppose your option is 6x minus 5y plus z is equal to 0, 6x minus 5y minus z is equal to 0 and other option is there, okay. So where to choose this, okay, what we will do first, so see here, uh, okay, something you have here, 6x minus 5y minus z plus 10 is equal to 0, something like this, um, uh, okay, oh, okay, this, okay, suppose, <coughs> this is minus z. Okay, so we choose the option. So the, you want a plane containing both the lines. That means both the lines are parallel to this plane. Okay, we we'll check whether this is parallel to this plane. This is 12 minus 15 minus uh, 3. Okay, so this is not 0. That means this plane is not, uh, this line is not parallel to this plane. So this is not your option. If for one line it is parallel, don't check for the other line. Now we we'll check for this one now. Okay, so this is what 12 minus 15 plus 3 okay is it equal to 0 yes it is equal to 0 go for the second line then okay so this is what 24 minus 25 uh, plus 1 okay is it equal to 0 yes it is equal to 0 okay this may be the option may be the option so what here if we, this is what just check the point now this is what minus 3 is here this point is what minus 3 this is minus 5 and this is okay this point is easy now this point is easy. minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so check whether this minus 1 minus 1 satisfy this equation or not. So this is minus 6, okay, plus 5, plus 1, okay. Is it equal to 0? Yes, it is equal to 0. One point of this line satisfy this equation. And both the lines are parallel to this one, okay. So this will be the correct option. And if you go for this one, uh, so this point do not satisfy, that means this is not option, okay. So these two lines are parallel to this plane. These two lines are parallel to this plane, but one point do not satisfy the equation of the plane. So it will not be your option, okay. Okay, so in this way you can you know, choose your correct option without finding the determinant or your usual um, method. So for here, for to choose the uh, correct option, you have to use the concept now. Okay, your concept should be the clear. Okay, so by trial and error, you have to choose the correct option. Okay, so now what is the foot of the perpendicular? Suppose this is the line. Suppose this line. Suppose this is P. So suppose this is Q. Okay, so Q is the foot of the perpendicular. Q is called foot of the perpendicular. Okay, so if, okay, we we'll write if the foot of the perpendicular, foot of the perpendicular drawn, drawn from the point. From the point, from the point one minus two three,
1 minus 2, 3. 1 minus 2, 3. To the, to the line, to the line is 2, 5, 6. Then, the perpendicular, perpendicular, then the perpendicular, distance of P, distance of P, uh, so this is your P, distance of P, from the line, from the line is, so what you have given, this is the foot of the perpendicular, this is what here, 2, 5, 6, and what is P here, 1 minus 2, 3, 1 minus 2, 3, the y. And you want the perfect distance of E from the line. Okay. So this Q is what? Put out the perpendicular. Just find the distance formula. Find PQ only. Find PQ. Is what? Root of this minus this. So 1. You have to take the square. 1 minus 2 square. Minus 2 minus 5. This is minus 7. So minus 7. This is what? 49. Minus 7. 49. Then what? 3 minus. Okay. This is what? 5, 6. Okay. This is 5, 6. Okay. 3 minus 6. So that is minus 3. So this is plus 9. So this is what? Root 59. Root 59 is the answer. Okay. Now, suppose, uh, okay, uh, we will write a formula. The foot of the, the foot of the Perpendicular, perpendicular, drawn from the point, from the point x1, y1, z1 to the line, to the line x minus alpha upon a, y minus beta upon b, z minus gamma upon c is equal to r is. Okay, so now this is the line, and this is what P is your point x1, y1, z1. Now put out the perpendicular means this point. Okay, so this point lie on the line. Okay, then the coordinates of any point on the line is what then alpha plus ar or ar plus alpha. Okay, so beta plus br, gamma plus cr. Okay, this is the point. This is your put of the perpendicular. This will be put up. If you get a particular point, if you get a particular value of R, you will get a particular point Q. You can find a particular point. But in general, this point is what? So that means the coordinates of the put of the perpendicular are of the of this form. Okay. Now suppose your line is what? Minus the point is what? Suppose this minus 2 point. And your line is what? X minus 7 upon 2, Y minus 6 upon 4, uh, Z plus 3 upon minus 2 is equal to R suppose. Then your foot of the perpendicular what? Twice r plus 7. You have multiplied by twice r. So this is what? X minus 7 by 2 is equal to r. Okay? So y minus 6 upon 4 is equal to r. Z minus plus 3 upon minus 2 is equal to r. Just try to find the values of x, y, z. It's what? Twice r plus 7. What is y, y is what? 4 r minus 6. Okay? Minus twice r minus 3. Okay? This may be like this. Twice r minus 6 plus 4 r. Minus 3 minus twice up, like this. Okay. So this is the put of the perpendicular. I hope that uh, you understand all the concept. Okay. So you have to generalize this. That means what I have taken for example this x minus 7. Okay. So in the exam there may be anything. I don't know what is the in the exam. So what here the, I have taken this minus 7. So in the exam there may be the minus 6, something like this. But the concepts are same now. Here. The concepts are same here. The values of this is what? The values of this what? Points are changed. The DRS may be changed. Okay. So DRS may be changed. That means we have to do the calculations like this. Okay. So just read, uh, listen all the points, huh? all the points carefully and do the do the same problem for the, uh, uh, by changing the value. Do the same problem by changing the value. Check your options. Okay. So solve that problem in you know, a usual method. And take the options and check whether these conditions are fulfilled or not. Whether you, you can check your answer with the help of this one. Okay. So I hope that you understand this one. You can do uh, any problems on the uh, line. Okay. So we'll stop here. Thank you.